Hi, I am Go. Um, I'm a co-founder and CEO of Arcterus. We do this app uh, called Clear. It's a notebook sharing platform. So let me start from this. So the, the students, they don't like studying. There should be many reasons for this, but the main reason we think is that they face way too many difficulties and they cannot solve it, solve them by themselves, especially when they study at home, doing their homework, preparing for exams. So to tackle this problem, we built this platform, a YouTube of study notebooks. So um, imagine that there's a huge database of study notebooks posted by students, and you have the access to all of those notebooks. That'll be a great resource for you to study them. So let me show you how it works. So when you open the app, you see lots of notebooks in every kind of subject. And in each subject, there's tons of notebooks. So when you have a problem in study, you can search the notebooks. Let's try trigonometry. So uh, when you open the notebook, the notebook is very good to me. It's very easy to understand for the students because it's created with a student's point of view. And you can add comments, ask questions, and teach each other. But what is more, if you tap like on the notebook, you analyze the preference of your study notebook. And we recommend the notebook. That might help you study, study and understand the subject more. And we help you clear your study problem. So, we provide more successful experiences in studying as the best study buddy. Right now, we have 700,000 users without, no, without any paid promotions. We have uh, prizes and lots of uh, media exposures. We started our global expansions um, starting from Thailand this April, releasing in Taiwan very soon, releasing in Korea next month, and uh, going into these large countries starting from next year. We are doing pretty well in Japan and in Thailand on the red side and are expecting the same in uh, Taiwan and in Korea. The revenue model is uh, freemium, so we provide additional functions that will help, them, uh, help the students study more effectively, more efficiently with uh, $5 per month. The global market is uh, growing uh, very rapidly. It's going to be uh, three times from now in the next five years and we are going to uh, capture 60 million users and uh, generate 80 million US dollar revenue. Thank you. Uh, thank you, it was great. So what is your strategic, strategic reason to go to Thailand first? Yeah, um, so for our service to uh, expand in each country, there are mainly three criteria for us. So one is uh, very normally um, the penetration of our smartphones, and um, <clears throat> that's one. Two, um, investment in uh, education from families, that's two. And the third is very original to our service. So Clear needs a uh, very specific culture of the students to help each other. If you don't want to help other students, um, you don't want to share your notebook. But all these countries that we are going into, uh, they are happy to uh, post their notebook and get likes and get uh, positive feedbacks. So um, these three uh, things. And the reason uh, we chose Thailand as the first country is that uh, we knew that Thailand has a very strong um, SNS um, culture. So we, we knew that it will be easier for us to uh, expand our service faster, even, even faster than in Japan. So we started from Thailand. Uh, what is the percentage of uh, paid users? And uh, uh, what is the most impactful uh, function or service to switch premium to uh, paid users? Thank, thanks. Um, so actually, uh, we are starting this uh, premium function um, from December. Well, we are expecting about 3%, 2 to 3% of the users will be converted to our premium users. And um, we are um, get, kind of guessing um, the most impactful service will be unlimited views of the notebooks per month. That's one. And another is the offline view. So 
um, students, they want to study on the buses, on the trains. And um, sometimes the connection is not so strong. So they want to see the locals, even the devices offline. OK, thank you. Yeah. Uh, quick question. You mentioned that your user acquisition strategy doesn't rely on paid advertising at all. So your, when you do a market entry, what, how are you acquiring, what's involved in market entry? Is it just localizing the product, or what are you doing to go into Thailand and Russia and all the other com countries you mentioned? Yeah, so uh, it's really, um, it really depends on the countries. So, um, yeah, we, we do localize the product, but the contents will be uh, uploaded by the students in, in local. And the marketing strategy is very different from countries to countries. So we work with uh, local students on how to uh, market the product. So for in Thailand, um, it's a very strong SNS country. So um, our team in Thailand and myself came up with a strategy to maximize Facebook, Twitter, and like that. So kind of all SNS services. Thank you very much. Thank you for your presentation. Tim, please announce winners and give your comments. Okay. Um, first, I've got to say that everyone that entered was really impressive. It was a great group of startups. Uh, it was a very difficult decision. There was a lot of arguing and fighting and cursing <laughs> and crying. But uh, eventually we did come to a decision. Uh, the, the three startups are going to be representing Japan internationally. Winning the gold. And again, I've got to say it's very, it speaks to the quality of all of the startups that the answer to who won the gold is still not obvious. There was a number of companies that, that could have done it, um, that probably will be very successful on their own, but the winner of the gold tonight is Octaris. so far, and we're wishing you the best of luck when you start monetizing, yeah. yes. when you're turning on the, the, the premium, where you're starting to convert the premium, and congratulations. Yes. And best of luck internationally to all of our winners. Can we get all the judges up here too?